So hello and welcome to another class of ABM Viva Sciences. This is Abhishek with you. So today I'll be teaching you a different type of topics, but it's very essential for your CSI using net. That is micro bodies. So micro body is a very common topic, but there is little things you should understand and the new findings which I'm going to tell you about that. So let's start. That is micro bodies. So what are micro bodies? So micro bodies are organelles that are covered or uh, what I can say encompassed by a membrane, but it has a specific function uh, in your body and your cell. So this micro body is present in cytoplasm. So they are present in cytoplasm of the cell. So mostly they present in plants and animals. Plants and animals. Mostly, but they may also, or you can also find them in protozoas. And ciliates. So these four type of organisms where you can find uh, microbodies, mostly present in cytoplasm with a specific function. So first I'll go to the types of the microbodies which are present in these uh, four types of cells. So the first one is paroxysomes. Okay, second one is very common glyoxysomes. And now third one is the glycosomes. And fourth one is hydrogenosomes. Okay, so these four types of microbodies are present in these uh, animals and plants. So one by one, I'll go to the function of these microbodies. And what are the uh, specific uh, function they are performing in a particular organism? So first one is the paroxysomes. So now I'll go for uh, the, uh, initiation of these paroxysomes. What are the functions? So this paroxysome perform function like first one is peroxide biosynthesis. So what do you mean by peroxide biosynthesis? Peroxide biosynthesis means this contains some kind of enzymes or different kinds of enzymes that are helping the cell in degradation of uh, fatty acid or it may be alcohol or it may be amino acid. So this type of functions are performed by paroxysomes with the help of different kinds of enzymes. So first I'll write degradation of degradation of fatty acids I'll not write the full form or amino acids okay or you can say purine salvage that is also performed by these paroxysomes okay or alcohols okay so the enzymes mostly present are uh, catalysts you can say which are present there apart from that amino acid oxidases like uric acid oxidase which help in the breakdown of purines 
and most important thing about this micro body is that they prevalent or they dominate the organ like kidney and liver in case of animals uh, what it be for these micro bodies so they dominate these two organs and the number of these micro bodies like the paroxysms are much more higher compared to other organelles so they perform a very specific function you can see here in the liver or kidney now few more important things about paroxysms is that uh, in case of plant cells the mesophylls the mesophyll cells of plants they uh, contain paroxysms and they help in respiration so in plants uh, if the paroxysms are present the, in the mesophyll cells they help in the uh, photorespiration and with the help of mitochondria so in mesophyll cells mesophyll cells they perform respiration with the help of mitochondria now another information about this paroxysms is that that the after fatty acid breakdown they form acetyl coa okay so the common end product after the breakdown of fatty acid is acetyl coa but the paroxysmal enzymes are different from mitochondrial enzymes so though the end product is same but the enzymatic breakdown of fatty acid to the end product is different from the mitochondria now here in the mesophyll cells they perform respiration with the help of mitochondria because they have glycolate oxidase and this glycolate oxidase helps in plant cells to perform the glycolate breakdown okay so these are the few essential information about paroxysms now i'll go for the next one that is glyoxysomes so glyoxysomes now uh, glyoxysomes are present in fat rich plant cells so they are present in fat rich plant cells now what are the function there they break down they help in the breakdown of fatty acid to acetyl coa now this acetyl coa will be used further to synthesize this acetyl coa will be used to synthesize carbohydrate so this is anabolic pathway now this glyoxysome is a micro body where a anabolic pathway takes place after breaking down of the fatty acids into acetyl coa and that acetyl coa is again used for the synthesis of carbohydrates okay so this cycle is called glyoxylate cycle so it generally takes place in the plant and bacteria and some kind of protozoa when there is a scarcity of complex carbon molecules like glucose that time a simple carbon molecule like acetyl coa is used inside the cell to uh, synthesize carbohydrates so it's a very essential microbody you can see here for their survival in a critical situation so this is the crucial information about the glyoxylate or glyoxysomes present in the body now next one is the glycosomes now glycosomes are present in mainly protozoa one example is uh, trypanosomes so 
दिस इज अ प्रोटोजा विच कॉज डिजीज लाइक छागास डिजीज और स्लीपिंग सिकनेस सो दिस काइंड ऑफ प्रोटोजा सो माइक्रो बॉडीज लाइक ग्लाइकोजोम्स सो वॉट इज अ ग्लाइकोजोम ग्लाइकोजोम्स कंटेन्स ग्लाइकोलाइटिक एंजाइम्स glycolytic enzymes what does that mean that it contains enzymes which can break down gluco uh, complex carbohydrates into simple carbohydrates that are glycolytic or glycolysis you can say but apart from that this microbody can also help in fatty acid breakdown purine salvage and synthesis of fatty acid so you can see it can break down the fatty acid as well as it can synthesize the fatty acid and apart from that it helps in purine salvage and apart from that glycolytic enzymes which help in glycolysis so these are very specific to trypanosomes are also associated with chondroplasts okay so these are very crucial micro body present in the protozoa okay and they help them in the survival and also in a critical situation so some uh, reports say that they are derived from peroxisomes but still there are work going Uh, to confirm the hypothesis okay the last one is the hydrogenosomes now hydrogenosomes are mainly present in different kinds of protozoa as well as fungi and some kind of animals okay so protozoa this over fungi okay and other animals so hydrogenosomes are micro bodies covered with uh, these are also organelles as i have said already covered with a membrane and what do they do they produce carbon dioxide atp hydrogen so these are the function of hydrogenosomes which they produce and how they do that with the help of different enzymes like hydrogenase states now conforming different superoxide dismutases these are the few enzymes apart from there are several enzymes inside the micro body which help them in forming this kind of products within the cell so it is widely accepted that the hydrogenosomes are derived from mitochondria derived from mitochondria so it is widely accepted already so this studies on hydrogenosomes are helping us to carry a lineage or link the lineages uh, lineages between the mitochondria and the because mitochondria we know that mitochondria is the ancient prokaryote or uh, derived from prokaryote which is uh, residing inside the uh, animal cells or eukaryotic cells so it is a very important link between the eukaryote and prokaryote so most of the researchers are working on this hydrogenosomes and one day will be no some kind of link between them
So if you like my classes, give a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel because these things stimulate me to take futuristic classes for you guys. So thank you and be with me.